So breaking news as we go to air this hour, Yemen's Houthi rebels say thousands of Saudi troops have surrendered after a cross-border military campaign. They say they targeted the southern Saudi region of Najran and captured several army officers and weapons. Of course, the Saudi UAE coalition in Yemen has been fighting the Houthis for more than four years now. Thousands of the enemy forces have been captured as prisoners. Others were killed. From among the prisoners is a large number of high-ranking officers and soldiers from the Saudi citizenship. More than 72 hours from the launch of the operation, our forces laid a total siege to the enemy forces, around totally three brigades along with one regiment of the Saudi forces. They were destroyed and imprisoned and captured. On the line now, Mohammed Al-Atab, uh, who's joining us on the line uh, from Sana'a. Mohammed, this is a very big claim the Houthis are making. Is there any more information? Yes, uh, this uh, kind of wide-scale operations that have been uh, revealed by the Houthis military spokesperson, uh, he considered it uh, one of the biggest uh, operations, uh, ground operations, and deep into Saudi territories. Uh, the, he says that he, they have already captured hundreds of kilometers, uh, square kilometers in the region of uh, Najran, and they have also uh, arrested uh, over uh, three three uh, brigades of Saudi-backed forces. They are mostly recruit. They have been recruited from uh, the, yeah, Yemeni areas in the south, and that they have uh, captured or arrested one regiment, Saudi regiment. Uh, so there, there are uh, senior uh, um, Saudi officers uh, uh, among those who have been captured and also that they have already uh, confiscated uh, military uh, armored vehicles and